welcome to another training session for computer tutoring. This time we're going to look at tables and basic layout of them for beginners. Uh, here we have a site here. This is the Venice site that's been used in the previous training video. So look it up if you haven't seen it already. Uh, I'm going to put a ta table for laying out a picture on the right hand side and a, some text on the left hand side here. So I'm just going to do that by firstly removing the placeholder text there. Go to insert a table, insert table. Here you decide the layout of your page. So I'm going to have one row and two columns. So the columns, one, the left column will be the one with the pictures, or column one, and uh, sorry, the, will be the text, and the right column will be the pictures. The table width will be 100% of the width of the div, which is the white area, as you can see on the web page. Um, the thickness, padding, and spacing all zeros. The heading none. Click on OK. And here we have our table in there. And you can see the little green bar at the top that shows that this is set to 100%, but at this moment in time, it's just under 1,000 pixels wide there. So what you can do with the table is you can click in the table and type text as normal uh, in your table, like so. And if you want to put a picture in, I can click on the right-hand side here. Just quickly notice that the table changes the width of the columns, etc. Well, as we type and enter data in, don't worry about that too much. So now we're going to insert a image, okay, and we're going to insert the Verona Im image uh, there. Click on OK. The you know, Verona image is quite large. I'm just going to learn to use this uh, width here uh, to bring it down to 400 pixels. Notice it sometimes marks up the whole table. So this is the magic button here. You can see table. So click on the table, and uh, there we've got our table. Uh, already there. That's brilliant. Now I can click and adjust the width of the table cells to see if they'll work there. Brilliant. So the next thing is how to adjust text in your table. So what I'd suggest is there's a couple of things. You can click inside the text box and have a look at the properties inspector at the bottom. Uh, have a look to see horizontal and vertical alignment. So you can see I can bring that to the top. But another thing is I want to give it some margin on this side or some padding, but I don't want it on this side. If I just have padding generally, it won't work. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new selector over here. And the selector, if I get rid of the writing is, I press uh, full stop. And I'll call this one text padding. You can call it anything you want. So uh, there we go, text padding. There we go, press enter. And then what I'm just going to do is scroll down this list here. Click on the little chain link button so it's all the same. Then go to the padding here and type 10px for 10 pixels worth of padding. So this class that I've just created here has uh, a padding of 10 pixels around. So the next thing I need to do is select the cell. So I click inside the cell, go down to the quick tag selector here where I can see TD, give that a click. And then I can go down to the targeted rule here and click on text padding. And you can see that this now has some breathing room around the text, whereas the picture the other side here well, that's nice and flush and edged to the wall, um, next to the wall. If I click away, so you can see it, it's full glory. So now all I need to do is save the page and upload the page, and you can start enjoying having some control over layout in Dreamweaver. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for further videos at computertutoring.co.uk.